what is poppin your girl is back with another video and today i might be doing something a little different we're about to be doing a story time and i got some wine here that i'm gonna drink with you guys and we're just gonna get into this video all right y'all so i don't got no wine glass I just got this little mug here so i'm gonna just pour the rest of this because i've already drunk this like a day ago or whatever so we just go on pour the rest up in here. And we're gonna sip on this while we tell this story. So basically, and I just wanna let you know this is not clickbait. And this is just like stuff that real life happens to me and it's not even to expose nobody or to be messy or anything like that it's just entertainment purposes and if i'm telling this story it's because the person did give me the okay to go ahead and talk about this story but it's basically just a lesson within itself just a situation i feel like that i would probably not get myself into now uh back then it was you know you were just dumb so yeah so basically i was with this guy and at the time i was staying in houston doing a job training and everything was like all good with us or whatever then i get this little dm on twitter And if I can find a DM and everything, I'm gonna insert it somewhere on the screen, you know? It's just so y'all know I got my receipts and that this shit really happens. But basically, this girl, she DMs me and I think, yeah, I saw that DM. She basically DMs me and she's just like, hey, um, do you talk to so-and-so because so-and-so has been talking to my friend and he got her and wait no did she basically she's just like she's been talking to my friend and that she went to talk to me or whatever i'm kind of looking like well what do she want to talk to me about but i'm just like you know okay so I ended up talking to this girl and she's just like, she was pregnant, she had an abortion, that he was basically going to go with her to have this abortion and stuff like that. And at this time, like, I am just shocked in disbelief. And I, I was just, I feel like I was in a place where I really couldn't express how I really felt because... I wasn't at home like i said i was in houston and i was doing this job training so i was like roommate with this other girl so i had like stepped outside of the room and i am just out there like crying you know like i'm like crying and then like i hit him up i let him know what's going on and i'm just like yeah i'm done with you I'm not doing this like uh -uh. but you know my dumb ass stayed so and that was that first incident and it's just so weird because it's like the girl who hit me up like she still follows me to this day like hey girl if you're watching this because she still followed me but yeah that was the first incident that's like okay and then the second time the second time man i don't even know how it became a second time but basically I was sitting in this room, this room here, and I had get, I got another DM on Twitter. The bitch is like, hit me up on Twitter, give me that woman to woman. <laughs> but basically, she hit me up on Twitter, and she's just like, um, what did this one say? Um, basically, just letting me know that my nigga had got somebody pregnant. And I just cannot believe it. Like, I'm looking like, what the fuck again? Again. 
so I'm just sitting there like what the fuck so I'm just on the floor I break down start crying I call my best friend at the time and I'm just like bitch like this nigga really didn't just did this so you know she pulled up and so since I'm like doing this I'm crying because I had like called my other friend at the time and I'm like talking to her like and she's just like I'm like hysterically crying so she's just like what what's going on did somebody die like because I'm being so hysterically crying and so I had you know I had let him know and I'm just like again done but I was not done and I'm just like just leave me alone so it's like as him and my best friend are pulling up they both kind of get here at the same time he gets here like a little bit before and he's sitting there trying to make the situation okay and he's just like you know apologizes niggas acting like they ain't do shit when they really did and i'm just looking like like i'm over you so you know fran comes hop in the car with her we take a little drive and this girl, she's lucky retarded. So, <laughs> yeah, lucky retarded. So she's just like, girl, like, we should call, set something up, blah, 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 and tell her to meet us. All this little, I don't even know what I was thinking. So, even at the time, I'm just like, yep, mm -hmm, that's what we're going to do. So, we called a girl. And we're like trying to set stuff up or whatever for like a little meeting. And you know, the girl I guess on the phone, she's dumb too. So she's agreeing to it and we're gonna do this and all that stuff or whatever. And then, I don't know, I never ended up meeting with the girl, nothing like that. But I don't know, I was just really shocked. And then the thing that is kind of crazy about both of these stories is that he got them both pregnant at the same time so it's like wow this time frame you really had two girls pregnant like what but basically moral of the story is know your worth don't give no discounts don't be letting these niggas out here play you and if you let a clown nigga try to play you rule number two but nah, for real, like, basically just know your worth. Don't be letting niggas clown you, play you, do nothing like that. Like, you better than that. Um, don't go for shit. And that is my story time. Now I'm just about to finish my wine. Thanks for watching.